Hello, welcome to a fun video where I am going to go through some coin rolls I got from my coin shop. I've got three rolls of halves and three rolls of dollar coins. And I found some fun things in these, some nice coins, um, things that came out of, uh, you know, collections or or sets. Um, this is basically overstock. Uh, you know, coin, coin shops can only keep so much product before... Um, you have overstock bulk and I, uh, my coin shop does allow me to pick these up so i appreciate that and uh this is going to be pretty fun hopefully uh, hopefully we find some cool stuff so i'll start with the half and then we'll do the dollars uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to crack these open on camera and then just take a quick look at them and then i'll sort them out and check for any errors varieties and stuff off camera intro take 473 cue music <laughs> Coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay. So let's just move some of this stuff out of the way. And let's take a look here. Um, well, these could possibly be some uh, extra coins. It could just be some random coins that someone had in their collection. So we're going to pour them out here. So these are all going to be clad, unless a silver accidentally got in there. So all clad. Um, looks like came from the collection. There's an 82, some 82s that are okay. 90 looks a little circulated. 92, that one has some nice tone. That one probably came out of album, 92. So this looks like part of a set. There, there's a 2011, so that's an NIFC 99. So yeah, this looks like it's part of a collection. Oh, that looks like I had those off camera there. So yeah, there's um, some NIFCs in there, 2011 and stuff. So that's part of a collection. This is probably more of that collection, most likely. Sorry for uh, not having things on camera. I'll try to zoom in so you can close look at these rolls. You see these look more circulated and these look more nicer and these are probably just um, coins that someone had in their collection just a stack of halves and that one's pretty rough let's see more rough ones and then back to the nice ones there's the NIFC 2008 that one looks like it might have a matte finish so that one might have come out of mint set um, and you can see how the other one is shining. Let me zoom in a little bit so we get a good view of that. So you see how this one has that shiny reflectiveness? This one kind of has a matte finish to it instead of a reflective shiny finish. So this one probably came out of a mint set, most likely. Set them up here. Then it looks like we got a 2009. And some more circulated ones here. All right. Third roll. Now, outside of uh, finding some NIFCs, maybe a proof and a possible, uh, possible varieties. I'm not expecting to see anything special, particular in the halves here. There's a pretty nice 81 there. Um, the 2003 was the Ender. 72, decent. Pretty nice 72, 81. So this is some more nice ones here. Part of whatever collection. 79 with some uh, tone on it there. Looks decent, but it looks like it got some tone on it. That one, no telling where that came from. Nice 81. Look at how thin this one is. You see how thin that one is? It's a 95 and it's thin. I'm going to have to weigh that one. Is that... That looks like quarter thickness. Do you see that? Let's take a good close look at that. Let's zoom in. So do you see that one in the middle there? See how thick the halves are around it? And then this one, 95. We have to weigh that. I'm gonna look at the surface says. I wonder if that one was soaked in some acid but it shouldn't have gotten that thin and still had all this. I don't know, that's pretty thin. That's 
pretty thin. Oh, that's interesting. Let me set that one to the side. So we're going to have to weigh that one. I'll have to get that out in a second here. And a few more nicer ones. And then a few more circulated ones here. That one looks a little thin as well, but not as thin as the 95. And maybe the 95 just looks thin for some reason. Okay, well, let me break out the scale. Let me zoom out. I didn't realize that. Sorry for being zoomed out. Let me grab my scale here. And let's weigh. So we're going to take a nice new one. Uh, let's see. Can we see the... Let me adjust the lights a little bit. And there we go. So... 11.20 roughly that is normal and this really thin one 11.14 it's a gram light but it looks so thin it might just be it just might be tapered so um yeah it's not super light it's just about one gram light but it does seem a bit small there interesting I'll have to look up and see what those are supposed to weigh and not supposed to weigh and stuff um, according to how, you know, quarter thickness would be. Um, maybe these rims are just extra thick. Because, I don't know. I'll have to take a good look at that and see. <laughs> Alright, but let me sort through these, check for any airish varieties, what have you, and I'll be right back and uh, just give a quick breakdown of what I've got. All right, so I've gone through all these and uh, didn't see any airs varieties. All the FGs look like they're there on the reverses. Um, we had uh, just a wide variety of uh, nicer ones and then here's all the circulated ones down here. Um, 2002 through 13, um, I'm missing a few dates in there. The 2008, this one um, is the only one that looks like it came out of a mint set because it had that matte finish surfaces and then this uh 95 which looks really thin um maybe it's just the looks maybe it's just the lighting maybe the rims just aren't as uh standoffish it's only a tenth of a gram lighter than the others and if it was on quarter stock it'd be around 8.8 .8 grams from what I, I from what i'm seeing here so there was nothing of any special note other than maybe those two and uh, just getting some really nice uh, condition coins and some of the dates. So um, I'm going to stack these aside. I've got a album I'm going to start working on. I'm going to do shorts for the Kennedys at some point soon. Uh, so I think I'm going to start that up at some point soon. Once I get the album and the coin set up, I think I have most of the coins that are going to go in the album. All right, let me get these cleaned up and we'll check out these dollar coins. Okay, so I've got the half out of the way. Let's crack into these dollar coins. These are the small type. Uh, so we're going to be expecting... Um, oh, this is some of the new stuff. Uh, so I wasn't expecting one of those. That's the innovation dollar right there. Uh, we'll see which one that is. But I'm expecting, you know, the Psychedelias and Native America ones. That one's pretty nice. And then... Uh, Maybe some Susan B. Anthony's. Looks like we got some plated ones too. That'll be fun. I'm just going to go ahead and dump out all three of these real quick. And then we'll see what we got in all three of these. Let's see, here's some presidents here. Now, I believe when you start the presidents, 2007. So 2007 through 2010 were released into circulation. And after that, they were NIFCs. Same with the Native American Sacagawea ones. So, um, any of the first 20 presidents, I believe, were released into circulation, and after that, 23rd president, or 21st and on, was not released into circulation. So, you had to pick those up from the mint. So, it looks like I've got mostly, um, we've got some Native American ones, we've got mostly presidents over here, and then we do have a couple of some that looks like they're plated here. So let's take a quick look at these plated ones. So 
So that is plated probably platinum, most likely, or something that looks like platinum. These do have some toning on them, but these are plated for sure. So they're part of a plated set that you could probably buy for inflated prices. So there is four of those in the middle there. So nice, nice and fun nonetheless, but uh, definitely just um, once once a coin is plated, it's considered altered surfaces, so it doesn't have a large numismatic value on them. I've explained this in a few other videos, but uh, I always like to explain it in case this is the first time someone is watching this. But uh, the plated quarters uh, or plated uh, coins don't really add any real numismatic value. They're a fun oddity, and they're neat to have some. I mean, I've got a stack of quarters and stuff with gold here, um, but they're not really worth anything outside of uh, face value other than maybe a slight bit. You probably get these for 50 cents to a dollar per, and in nice shape if you're wanting to collect something like that. Um, I would I would guess. I mean, that's I wouldn't pay more than that per if I really wanted them. So let's see. So here's some more presidents here, and we have the one innovation dollar. It looks like on the end. This is um, this is the first one, United States of America innovation dollar. This one came out in 2018. So we have one of those, and the rest look like we got some presidents here, and we got some Sacagawea dollars with the Native America on the background. Um, in 2007, they started putting all the dates and stuff on the side of the coins. All right, well, let me sort through these. This is going to take a little bit to sort through all these. These all look like they're all... Ooh, there's a nice Ronald Reagan right there. Um, that's the nicest one I've seen. Oh, we do have another innovation dollar. Let's take a look at this one. This is the Massachusetts, the telephone. Nice. So there, there's going to be some oddities in here. So I'm just going to take some time to sort through these and then I'll come back and show you what we got here. Um, but most of these look like presidents for the most part, from what I can tell from the reverses here. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's break down what we got here real quick. I did get the one more innovation dollar. This is the New Jersey one. So we got three of those in pretty nice shape. And then uh, we had the four plated coins. Other than that, nothing really special or fancy. Um, I do have one of each president here, except for the um, George Bush Sr., that being the latest President Dollar to get um, to get minted, that is not part of this set. Um, I had a one, two, three, four, five, six dates of the Native America reverse from the Sacagaweas, and I had a 2008 with the original Eagle reverse there. One of those. So um, I checked the edge lettering, nothing, there's, all of these had the edge lettering. They're all in really nice shape um, overall. So that is pretty cool. So other than getting some, some oddities and stuff, just getting some nice coins for the collection is always pretty cool. Um, I do have, if anyone is interested, I have a set of some really nice ones. Uh, Philadelphia and Denver, I might be missing a coin here or there, a Philadelphia or a Denver, and hopefully this this set will complete that. But if you do want to get a nice set, I, I'll, I can pass these on to you for a good price. Just let me know, send me an email. Um, these, the, the Native American ones, I do have a good set of those as well, as well as the 2002 through 2008. And all in pretty decent shape. There might be a coin here, a coin there that could use an upgrade, but it's a good, solid, high-end, medium to high-end starter set, uh, just based on coins. And you can see what we got here and how nice they are. So, <laughs> I mean, they are pretty nice shape. 
and would be make a great collection if you don't have the dollar coins and want to just get them all in one go um yeah so that is that uh do hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the thumbs up helps me out drop a comment down below let me know what you thought thank you very much for watching everyone have a great day and i want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel i very very much appreciate it if anyone is interested in becoming a member feel free to check out the link below again thank you very much for your support well i do hope you enjoyed the video and if you click on that link right there it'll help me out and then I'd have a couple videos over here that is recommended so if you would like to watch another one i would definitely appreciate it Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.